So, very good evening to one and all virtually present here. I welcome you all on behalf of Jesus Bird Forum, I spell. I spell society but from all of English language and literature has been founded by Dr. G. N. Dhansham on 5th September 2020 with a vision to facilitate to educate. The very purpose of this forum is limited as the forum has seven forums in different states and organizing events at Lundi. Not only this, but the National Forum of Ayurveda is going to organize its 103rd Sunday Sahitya Satsang on this Sunday. As a question, Dr. Kiti Tiwari once wrote that for those who have real academic interest, ISPIL is the perfect zone, and I think so. Our president, Dr. Hakti Kordacha, has scientifically been, been striving hard to keep the show on, the show going. Thanks to Dr. D. A. Dhanchanam for giving this opportunity to all of us, especially who are living in remote areas. And my sincere reference to Dr. Tiwari and Dr. Dhar. So as we all know that today a great big gathered here on the platform of his students' intellectual meet to discuss another interesting topic. And today's topic is the best and results of community. I think we need to give introduction about the topic that I can suggest it's important. Good communication clarifies information, reduces wasted time, helps to knowledge, is time. Poor communication leads to frequent misunderstanding and frustration. And much more that we are going to discuss today. Indeed, a very interesting topic. And to speak on the topic, we have with us Dr. Seema Arora, head Department of English, Sri Shankarachari Institute of Professional Management and Technology. Right. In the session, we have with us Cyril Daniel. Um, Dr. Daniel is an assistant. Professor of English, Government Arts and Commerce, College, Event Nagar. And the master of today's ceremony is Ms. Gitanjali Netam, and Chief and Assistant Professor of English, Naveen College, Tendu Kona, Tendu Kona, um, Block Bath Behra, District Master. And as we all know, being coordinated by Dr. Sarvachan for Sandhu, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Dr. DYT, PG of Economics College, Dhoti. So before I hand over this virtual platform to Madam, I want to introduce Madam. Madam is an MA PhD and her topic of research was treatment of violence in the works of Alex Walker. She is a research guide and she is deciding four scholars working under her supervision. Her teaching experience is um, 31 years. She has been teaching modern literature, literary theories, Afro American literature, and British literature, linguistics, and fanatics. She is a member of IKC of her college. She has published 10 papers in reputed journals. She has also attended a large number of national and international conferences, seminars, and webinars, and has presented papers also. She has been invited as a resource person three times by the Department of English, Government Deputy PG, Autonomous College, Rajnan Zong. She is a subject expert in the Board of His Studies, Dixit uh, PG Autonomous College, uh, appointed in the Selection Committee by the University. She is a subject expert for St. Thomas College, Bhilai, 
she is also a program officer of Indian Youth Red Cross Society since 2011 and Red River Club since 2016. So welcome, Madam. The platform is on you. Please, ma'am. Thank you, Archana, ma'am, for your kind words. A very pleasant good evening and warm welcome to all the ice pillions. Ma'am, you are uh, not visible. Okay, okay, okay. Ha, I am just okay. Ha, sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Ha, yes, yes. Uh, first, I should apologize for my hoarse voice. <laughs> I uh, will be extremely sorry uh, if it is something, if some words are not very clear. Uh, but anyway, I'll try my level best. So once again, a very pleasant good evening and a warm welcome to all the Icepellians, all the dignitaries, our esteemed guests, our aspirants, and all the participants who have joined today's Saturday Intellectual Meet. We all know that we are commemorating and celebrating 75 years of India's independence in the month of August, that is Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsa. We need to remember how after so many trials and tribulations, we have acquired this freedom. And the ISPEL Forum provides this opportunity to glorify and salute all those people, all those warriors and leaders who sacrificed their lives for such a great cause. The ISPEL, that is the Indian Society for the Promotion of English Language and Literature, which aims to facilitate to elevate since its inception on 5th September 2020 has scaled new heights in a very short span, not only at the national level, but globally also. And it's truly said that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. So behind all this, uh, all the success, the team, I think it's Dr. Dr. Ghansham, sir, the General Secretary and the great visionary, Dr. Kirti, ma'am, the patron of ISPEL, Dr. Archana Singh, ma'am, the convener of IG's, uh, sorry, CG's forum, ISPEL, Harpreet, ma'am, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Harpreet, ma'am, the president of CG ISPEL, and all the other members. ISPEL members, the teams who have been doing commendable job for promoting literature and language, making it people's platform to share and impart expertise of renowned scholars. I congratulate the ISPEL team and I'm very thankful for giving me this opportunity. Today, I feel immense pleasure to invite and welcome our esteemed guest, and keynote speaker, Dr. Seema Arora, ma'am, Head Department of English, Shri Shankaracharya Institute of Professional Management and Technology, Raipur. Good evening, ma'am. I welcome you on this ISPEL platform. Human beings, as we all know, are blessed with speech ability and have found ways since ages uh, how to communicate, whether it is verbal, oral, written, gestural, sign, codes, sounds, mirror, fire, bells, and whistles, as the title goes, lighthouses, and many, many more. And the topic for today's session is the bells and whistles of communication, which is so catchy that it makes, uh, personally, I feel, it's uh, inquisitive to know and learn more and more about it. And I'm dead sure that the session is going to be very engaging and fruitful. And at the same time, uh, I think we will be learning more and more from you, ma'am. I also feel greatly honored and privileged to welcome uh, our chairperson of today's event, Dr. Cyril Daniel, sir. I cordially welcome you, sir. You are Assistant Professor of English, Government Arts and Commerce College, Devendra Nagar, Raipur. I uh, congratulate you, sir, for giving us your precious time, and we will be waiting for your valuable uh, expressions and views after the discourse. 
I now it's time to introduce uh, today's master of ceremonies, that is Miss Gitanjali Netam, a very learned scholar and a devout student of mine, I should say. Uh, she is the moderator for today's event. She is an assistant professor of English, appointed through PSC, presently working at Gomin Naveen College, Tendu Kona Block, Bagbara, Mahasamund. She did her BCA from Rungta Institute of Information and Technology in 2015. She did her MA in English from Government VYT PG Autonomous College, Durg, in 2017. She also qualified SET in 2017 and NET JRF in 2018. Currently, she is pursuing her PhD coursework from Government VYT PG sorry, PhD work uh, from Government VYT PG Autonomous College. She has also one year teaching experience as a lecturer at Government High Secondary School, Rampur, Rajnangaon. I congratulate and I am thankful, Gitanjali, for being with us today. And uh, I know that you will be moderating the session very skillfully. And now before, uh, I think uh, I welcome you all once again, all the participants, all the dignitaries for their proper, all the support which they have given. And uh, now take I hand over the charge to Gitanjali for further, pr further proceedings. Thank you welcome so much, Gitanjali. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure, Vita. Hmm. Yes. So good evening, everyone. I, Gitanjali Netam, the moderator of today's ceremony, welcome all the dignitaries, team ISPEL participants, and everyone present here in today's session. As we all know, with its aim and motto, facilitate to elevate, ISPEL forum emerges as a facilitator to reach the unreached across the barriers and boundaries of the states to empower teachers as well as learners of English. It focuses to reach out to the learners and lovers of language and literature with upgraded and updated expertise to improve their knowledge, skills, and values. So by continuing this innovative process of facilitation and elevation, I would like to introduce today's topic of discussion and the topic is the bells and whistles of communication and for presenting this topic i would like to welcome and introduce our chief speaker of the ceremony dr seema arora ma'am good evening ma'am and you are most welcome in today's session dr seema arora ma'am is currently associate professor and head department of english sri shankaracharya institute of professional management and technology raipur chhattisgarh ma'am obtained her phd in english in 2018 from dr c v raman university kota bilaspur ma'am has published research papers in national and international journals and has participated in various seminars, conferences, and webinars. Ma'am has attended faculty development programs conducted by AICTE and NPTEI and has taken up MOOC courses run by Swayam, Coursera, and Udhami. She has teaching experience of more than 25 years and she teaches English, communication skills, and value education to undergraduate students. Ma'am is a self soft skills and personality development trainer. Ma'am is also an expert in communication skills and has hosted a number of programs. Her research interest includes Indian English literature, blended learning and ICT approach in teaching and learning of English. So without much delay, I welcome and invite Dr. Seema Arora, ma'am, to take over the platform. Thank you so much, Gitanjali, ma'am, for this wonderful introduction. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. 
I, I extend my namaskar to our chairman, Dr. Cyril Daniel, coordinator, Dr. Tarlo Chin, ma'am, uh, moderator, Ms. Gitanjali, learned members, and my dear students. It's a matter of profound privilege and honor for me to speak from this uh, platform of ISPEL. I express my gratitude to Ghansham. No, not visible. Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry for the interruption. Are you not visible, ma'am? Madam, uh, I can see myself on the screen. The yes. others? Huh, yeah, ma'am. Am I visible to the others? Hello? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You are no. not visible. Oh. I'm not visible. Just a minute. No. Indrani, ma'am. Indrani, ma'am, could you please make uh, madam your co host? So please see uh, both the camera. Why you think that It's not uh, required, ma'am. Just refresh the page and rejoin, please. Madam, am I visible now? Hello? No, ma'am. No, ma you are not visible. Is this one okay? Ah, yes. Yes, now yes. Visible. Now, yeah, no. now yes, you are visible, visible ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I have connected from two devices with, uh, with my laptop as well as my mobile phone, madam. Now I'm not visible, ma'am. From my laptop. Or... Hello. No, ma'am. Okay, I'll continue. So once again, uh, warm greetings to all the learned members. Actually, I I I, I think myself, uh, it's a for the first time I'm speaking from such a platform and before Kiruda, before learned academicians. So it's an honor for me. Uh, it's very well said that uh, opportunities knock your doors unawares. So this is an opportunity for me, rather a golden opportunity, I'll say, a diamond opportunity for me given by Hapit Ma'am. Thanks a lot, Ma'am. So before we start uh, formally with the session, I would like to share with you, show you a video, and let's see what do you interpret from that video. I'll, I'm sharing my screen. I hope it's visible to all. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am, very clear. But without any audio. Voice. Okay. Ma'am, there is no audio in your PPT. Is it? It's only a video? It's, it's only a video, madam, without any sound. Okay, okay. The okay. background music is there. That's there.
the question I would like to ask you is, what do you interpret from this video? What do you understand? I reiterate my question. What do you understand? What I understand so far is uh, everybody goes and comes, but nothing happens. It's awful like situation. Okay. Anyone else would like to share? Okay. Let me tell you. We are all human beings. We, we agree to this? Yes or no? We all human beings? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we are all human beings. Today we find that we have forgotten the art of communication. With whom? With humans. Because we have become mobiles, mobile organisms. All the time we are busy with the with the gadgets, particularly the mobile. We we love talking with the mobile phones, but we do not love talking with the humans. So if we want to lead a happy life, meaningful life, we need to interact with our near and dear ones. And uh, we need to understand what is real communication. Real communication is not with machines. Real communication is human interacting with humans so that we, we knit bonds, we knit relationships. Because you find that communication is a vital part of our daily routine. Almost 70 to 80 percent of our time in a day is spent communicating. Sometimes we sit in the uh, sit in the school and listen to the teachers. We read books. We read magazines. We talk to our friends, watch television, and communicate over internet. So we are communicating, communicating, communicating. So we are all. We need to understand and implement in our life this very word communication which we are going to understand further in the presentation so let me now come to my topic that is the bells and whistles of communication bells we hear the chiming of the bells whistles are blown so let me explain my topic first metaphorical uh, metaphorically uh, uh, we see that uh, bells are announcements for communication with the society at large they might be fresh ideas, new ideas, ideas remolded, ideas re-engineered, ideas reshaped, and we make a sustaining atmosphere of good living. Whereas on the other hand, we find that whistles are more narrow in approach. It could be intrapersonal or exchanged with a small group, especially primary in nature. Say, for instance, communication with a family, communication with friends, communication with, uh, with the neighborhood, or with group peers. But you find that whistles are more subjective because they are personal says. We express our boys are personal views. And whistles are more palpable because uh, they throb with life, with intimacy. Now we find that both bells and whistles make an intellectual situation because it gives us a chance to exchange our ideas transmitted with a purpose and received with intent, response and reaction. So let us begin with the presentation on the bells of communication. Where do you find that bells are associated or related with listening and whistles are related with speaking, the two indispensable parts of communication so they are all let, let me begin my presentation as you can see my screen bells and whistles uh, of communication sorry, sorry to yeah. interrupt ma'am excuse me yes actually uh, yes, two, sir. three sounds uh, echoing sounds are coming uh, talochan ma'am uh, would you please uh, mute Hello. yourself uh, archana ma'am and talochan please yeah thank you please continue ma'am sorry to yeah. interrupt no, no problem, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me uh, let us uh, begin with the presentation. The bells and whistles of communication. So you see, here yeah, a question for you. We need to solve this analogy. You have biological existence, similarly social existence. So my question to you is, what is needed for our biological existence and what is needed for our social existence? Can anyone, please? We have in the group uh, learned members as well as students, I suppose. So please answer, uh, solve this analogy. 
what is needed for a biological existence and what is needed for a social existence. It has become for, like an online for, class. For, yes, sir. Uh, for social communications, we uh, must need social interactions, Very not good. social distancing. And uh, as far as biological instance is concerned, we also need uh, interaction, I think. OK, so here we have the answer. Look here. What I have done, I have built this analogy with food. As food is necessary for a biological existence, similarly, communication is necessary for our social existence. We cannot survive without communication. Can you imagine a day when you have not spoken to anyone? How was that day for you? Horrible. You know? Because, because uh, we, 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 the human beings, are full of emotions. Emotions of joy, emotions of sorrow, excitement, and whatnot. And unless and until we express those emotions, we are not at rest. Okay, so you find that food, or you can put air also, you can put water also, is essential for a biological existence. So is communication essential for a social existence. You find that when a child is born, when a when a baby is born, you find that ah, he cries. Okay, so you it cries. I'll say for baby, it cries. For what it cries? It cries for milk. Similarly, as the child grows up, he starts, he milk. wants food to eat and he puts anything which comes in his way inside his mouth. So you find that we know how to eat, but even then we need to refer to a dietitian, to a doctor in order to, in order to develop healthy eating habits, right? Similarly, each one of us can communicate. Ben Johnson has very nicely said to communicate to talk and to talk well are two different things. If we have a tongue, we can talk. So that is why we need such type of sessions. We need uh, books on communication skills. We need personality development classes. So you find that if you want to make your life meaningful, your social interactions meaningful, you need to communicate. Moving further, you find that communication is spread throughout our life. What are we doing now? What are we doing now? Let, let, this, let this communication be interactive because communication means interaction. So my question, what are we doing now? What, what form we have collected in, uh, at 6.30 through this online mode? Yes, my dear friends, what form we have collected there? To learn something about communication. To learn something, OK? My, uh, my answer to this is to communicate, to exchange ideas, to share ideas. So that is why I say communication is spread throughout our life. It's everywhere, whether it's a formal situation, you're there at your workplace, and you are there in the office. Students are there in their classes, in their school, college, or with, when you are with your family, it's an informal situation with your peers, with your friends, outing, right? So it's an informal situation. We go on communicating, right? So before we take up, what is communication? Let me tell, let me narrate a story to you. Uh, this is a story about uh, Miss Amla Cherry. Miss Amla Cherry, as usual, was busy with her daily work pressure of following up her clients and preparing schedules for their flights abroad. You, uh, she found that the business had uh, the business was showing signs of prosperity with the increase in the list of clients. Now. With the increase in the list of clients, the work pressure was also heightening. So uh, she was feeling helpless. How to cope up with such a situation? She, she felt the need of a helping hand so she could be relieved of the pressure of work and fulfill the commitments to her clients. And one fine day, Miss Charu Daniel was recommended because she was a girl who was very good, who had very good oral and written communication skills. This made Amla Cherry very happy because her work was her workload, her work pressure was being shared because now she had someone to write out the emails, to write letters, to attend phone calls, so on, so on and so forth. One day what happened, uh, Miss Amla was as usual sitting uh, in her room, in her cabin and was engrossed in her work. And this Charu Daniel, she abruptly entered Amla Cherry's room and placed some papers uh, on the table saying that, this is what you had asked me to write and I've done with it. Is there anything else that you want me to do? 
I have to leave early because I have an appointment to keep. Now, she was shell shocked. Amla Cherry was shell shocked. She was, uh, Amla Cherry, in, in her uh, in astonishment, looked up at uh, Charu Daniel and kept wondering what kind of a person her organization has employed. So, now the question for you what do you gain from this story? What do you learn from this story? This incident. My dear friends, I hope I'm not uh, boring you. Yes. What comes to your mind after uh, after listening to the story? Yes. Actually, we're putting such questions. I want. I really want to make this uh, session interactive, and it it appears that yes, we are uh, really implementing the topic of this presentation. I feel like I'm there in my class with my students, wherein, wherein questions are being fired from the teachers and then no answers from the other end, from the students. Please. Actually, the thing is, the nature of communication, the nature of communication in this situation, there is there, there is absence of certain features. Like when, you, when we communicate with others, we need to be polite. We need to follow the seven C's of communication. That is, we need to be considerate. We need to empathize with the other person with whom we are talking. And this factor was missing. Because uh, I'll, I'll just narrate an incident uh, which really happened with me. Uh, in one of my classes, uh, one boy uh, was talking with his uh, peer while I was teaching. So I asked him, like, uh, 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 you, uh, Jharkhand Wale, I, I did not remember his name, Jharkhand, uh, why are you talking? So ab abruptly he stood up and said that, Madam, don't call, don't call my family name. This is insulting. Whereas I did not mean to say, I did not mean to hurt him. So you find that the words we speak, the words we speak, the tone we use has to be correct if we want meaningful relationship, if we want meaning, meaningful communication with the other person. So now we come to the question, what is communication? Communication is the act of imparting. It's a science and practice of transmitting information, which is passed from, as it is passed from me to you. And what do I expect? I expect that, yes, you are understanding what I'm saying and I, I, I'm expecting a, a response from you. And it is always through the correct medium. The medium here being used is the virtual medium or the online medium. So further, we see that communication is a process where a series of steps are taken. It starts with the sender. Sender encodes the message, prepares a message, uses a channel, sends it to the receiver. Receiver further decodes, that is, interprets the message and then finally gives a response. This is the entire process of communication. And moreover, communication can be verbal, it can be non-verbal. As, as for now, I'm speaking and you can observe my gestures, the movement of my hands, or sometimes the, move, uh, the expressions on my face. So communication can be verbal and it can be non-verbal. So you find that verbal communication, which which comprise facial expression, tone, your voice, your movements, your appearance, eye contact, gestures, postures, plays a vital role compared to verbal communication when it, wherein usage of words is made. One, uh, Albert, Albert Mehravan is there. He said that when you compose a speech, when you make a speech, 7% matters as to what words are, you are using, what uh, sentences you are using, otherwise, 58% goes to nonverbal communication because uh, what, is, what cannot be understood through words is understood by the nonverbal gestures of the speaker. Further, you see that communication is context based, physical context. Say, for instance, when, it, uh, when, uh, when, when we are talking right now, we are not having face to face interaction. It does matter. Had it been uh, an offline session, it would have been it would have a better impact compared to the online mode linguistic context that is the language also becomes a barrier to communication the inter uh, uh, words having uh, multiple meanings 
translations this also creates this also creates barrier in communication then you come to cultural context uh, you find that india is the only country where you have people of different cultures regions religions reside so you find that when we talk about culture food habits food habits dress along with the language matters so this is what i want to say is communication is always context based further if if someone asks you are you a good communicator are you a good speaker are you a good listener right so if you want to become a good communicator you have to hone your skills in lsrw lsrw l stands for listening s stands for speaking r for reading and w for writing if you master all these four areas of communication the four aspects of communication you are said to be a good communicator because what happens the more you listen as you are listening to me now or when i was listening to gitanjali ma'am or tarlochan ma'am or archana ma'am right so i got to know what are their ideas about communication so you find that listening and reading are called to be receptive skills the more you read if you are an avid reader you are full of ideas and when you are full of ideas you are confident enough to take part in any kind of conversation so reading and listening are receptive skills wherein you receive n number of ideas so when you are filled with n number of ideas you are prepared for two other tasks that is speaking and writing which are said to be productive skills why uh, why they are called productive skills because you are going to produce your ideas you are going to either uh, use two modes either you will write or you will speak and if you do not listen well you won't be able to speak or write the more the more you listen the more you gain through speaking and writing now another aspect of communication say for example if you are a good communicator how do we get to know when a person comes and stands on the stage when a when a student comes and stands on the platform in the class to say something you find that your personality is manifested through your communication the way you speak are you confident it is it is marked out through your communication so you find that what is personality personality is the way you think the way you feel and then the way you behave so you find that attitude attitude is your thinking and your and your feelings as you think so is your action that is your behavior that makes up your personality and your personality is affected by the factors called biological factors like from which lineage you are coming what what is your heredity what, what is your thinking process your cognitive level your physical features all are governed by your biological factors the features we say that yes this girl resembles a mother this boy resembles his father this way cultural factors the culture the traditions amidst which you are born and brought up they regulate your personality then family factors your family has cordial relationship with each other how do the members behave this also affects your affects your affects your personality if everything is good so you'll be you'll be cooperative with your friends in the classroom in the playground you know you'll share responsibilities and then social factors how do you interact with your uh, with your peers in the work at the workplace or how do students interact with their classmates so this is this also these are the personality determinants further we find that it is said that the first impression is the last impression because you find that uh the way i started the presentation good evening everyone right so i I'm, uh, i'm privileged to speak from this platform so i created an impression or not that you are going to judge and that will become a lasting impression because if you just communicate you can get by but if you communicate skillfully making use of your gestures verbal and non verbal features of communication you can work miracles and how it happens and only and only through communication further you see you see that personality versus communication if you speak confidently people say that yes a confident person a good personality when you speak you need to have eye contact in a face to face situation you have you need to take out take care of your body language too much drumming of the table or rocking your body 
This is not advisable. Take care of your body language. Do not sit in a slouch position. Do not start yawning before the speaker because that demotivates the speaker. Be particular about your pronunciation of words as I was not able to pronounce the word metaphorically. Right. So I have we have to be very much particular about the words we pronounce. And above all, you need to be a good and patient listener. A listener is one who has a response as soon as a question is fired. OK, so further moving, we find that why communication is important for the students because it helps in learning. What happens if you if you are a good communicator, if you have good communication skills, you will be called a good student because it is paramount in education. And moreover, if you are com if your communication skills are good, you are an expert in communication skills, your comprehension level as a student will also be good. As for now, when I'm speaking, a few students uh, might be there in the session. So if they understand my language in one go, if they understand my vocabulary in one go, they, their understanding will be more. That is going to result in their academic success. They'll get good scores in their exams. And furthermore, you find that to keep everyone connected and informed, you need to communicate, right? What is What happens in this session? Somebody is going to narrate it to, the, uh, to his or her friend. Okay? How this will happen? Only when you are a keen listener. And further, you find that know who you are talking to. It's very, very important. Say, for instance, I said that I'm a little, I'm a little apprehensive. I'm a little afraid to speak before uh, uh, academicians of such a, uh, of stellar heights because I'm a novice in this field and I'm speaking before. So I have to be very much particular, particular in the usage of words and the usage of sentences because I'm, uh, I'm. I'm speaking before erudites. So this shows the importance of communication for students. Now it's time to assess ourselves. Am I a good listener? Have you ever thought? Have you ever thought? Am I a good listener? Do I speak well? That that is this your this is judged by the audiences. Right? If I put a question and there is no answer, can you say that you are a good listener? Yes. Can you say you are a good listener? No, Hello? no, no, no. How do you know? How do you know that you are a good, uh, you are, you are a good speaker? How do you know? How do you judge yourself? Please answer. Which type of speaker do you love listening to? Which type Th of listener? Those, those who would pay attention to my talk. Yeah. I will. I would like to talk to him, obviously. Very good. So that uh, I understand him also and he or she could understand me also. That's okay. Right. Because communication is the art of being understood. Communication is the art of being understood. A, a speaker who connects himself or herself with the audiences is considered to be a good speaker. A speaker who gives something new every day to, this, uh, to the audiences is considered to be a good speaker. A, a speaker who has good vocabulary, a speaker who is full of ideas, who is full of confidence, who has a sense of humor, who keeps himself balanced, is considered to be a good speaker. Now the question arises, uh, am I a good listener? It's, it's difficult. It's difficult because we are all human beings and some of the other thing keeps worrying us. It so happens that uh, uh, we say that L S R W L is being placed first in the four areas of communication, but no school on earth teaches listening. We never have listening classes. We have speaking classes in school and college, but we do not have listening classes. So that is a sorry thing because we are not a good listeners. We cannot be, we cannot become good speakers because it is very well said that a good listener always undoubtedly, undoubtedly makes a good speaker or communicator so moving on someone has very rightly said speak in such a way that others love to listen to you and listen in such a way that others love to speak to you because if you are going to do these two things surely you're going to build bonds which is the primary which is the primary motive of communication this because once you develop relationship you develop understanding you develop connection and anybody is will be ready to be with you to be with uh, do to be with, uh, in your company so this is the magic of magic of communication now 
now, now let us talk about the two aspects bells and whistles as i said bells related to listening so when i am speaking whom do i need whom do i need when i am speaking whom do i need listeners Anyone? listeners because without you i am no one i'm nothing i'm sifar because i want someone to listen to me uh, why relationships are not sustaining today because people are not good listeners a husband a wife or for that matter any other relation because we are not good listeners the society the society is severing is breaking and the result is the result is revenge conflict fights now another thing we have to understand what is the difference between speaking and talking what is the difference between speaking and talking yeah what is the difference between speaking and talking am i speaking or am i talking right now you are speaking ma'am i'm speaking when i'm putting you a question what am i doing talking when i'm talking so if you have a tongue the natural flow of words is going to go on and on on and on this is speaking but when you start exchanging your ideas you start sharing your ideas where are, where there are two or more people that is called talking talk, talk. and you find that listening is your activity and you know you are much more intelligent than me why i say this because listening requires much more intelligence than speaking this is a turkish proverb which says that listening requires much more intelligence than speaking why 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 uh, listening requires much more intelligence than speaking because the, yes ladies and gentlemen because the listener have to listeners have to you know decode the message i think <laughs> yes the, yeah listening because what you have to do you have to go through the process of listening and the first step of listening is hearing unless and until you get the words your uh, the words catch your ear drums message won't send uh, won't be sent to the brain and your brain won't start decoding so you have you have to play a dual role you have not only to hear the words you have to process the words also so that is why we say that listening requires much more intelligence than speaking and you'll find that after listening for one hour you'll get tired because it's it's a it's a dual process hearing as well as your brain starts working and starts interpreting the sounds so you find that listening is much more much more difficult than speaking it's time to test your listening skills are you ready if you have pen and paper yes are you are you interested in playing a game yes ma'am yeah so what am i going to do i'm going i'm randomly going to say a words say a few words sorry i'm going to uh, randomly going to say a few words and what you have to do you have to listen to the words and then i'll give you a 5 minutes time to write down those words on your papers right and then i'm going to put some questions to you you have to answer then shall i start shall i start yes ma'am please show me yeah Okay, so the game goes this way. The name of the game is listless. Listless. I start. Transactional, motivation, understanding, appreciate, environment, dynamic, context, interaction, content, pitch. Please write the words. I actually started uh, writing when you started talking. So I have written all of the words. Arey baat, super. Otherwise, this is called cheating. But uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. The rule of the game was yeah. The, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, do we need to write all the words, ma'am, which you just started? Yeah, please write the words. Uh, I missed some of them. <laughs> yeah, so that that is what how how we are going to test the listening skills. Actually, what, what happens now? If I ask you which was the fifth word, which was the fifth word, 
What is the answer? Sir, is that dynamic. Uh, it was. Is it, it was dynamic, ma'am? Environment. Ma environment. environment. No. Okay. It was environment. Which was the last uh, word? Which was the last word? Pitch. 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 So you find that the game. Uh, the game says. The game says. What happens in the uh, while we are listening to something? We do remember the last word or maybe the first word, right? We do yes. remember the last word or the first word. So uh, it yeah. so happens that sixty percent will remember the first word. Seventy-five percent will get the last word on the list. Eighty percent will remember the word that was repeated three times. I did not repeat any word, and twenty percent will write down the obvious word you never said. This is the way to test your listening. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Hello. Yes, Otherwise, yes, we would have to play the telephone game. It is not possible to play the telephone game. Uh, in the online mode so i thought of playing this list list so we need to train ourselves in listening how we 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 need to concentrate and mind it to concentrate on someone's talk is really difficult we log in into the sessions but we hardly pay attention to what is being told during these sessions and we have attended so many fdp sorry to say i'm i'm talking about a few you log in we log in i'll say we log in and we just turn a deaf ear to what is being said so we need to train ourselves if we want to play a game like listless right because we what we what we do we uh, misunderstand hearing for listening whereas listening is a conscious process hearing is an automatic process if you are not hearing impaired everything everything even if you don't want you say that this today i'm not going to listen to any uh, hear anything it's not possible okay so listening is a conscious process whereas hearing is an automatic process listening is with the mind with the ears it's a psychological process whereas hearing is a physiological process and listening depends upon the situation now you are there for a formal session so we are we are uh, behaving in a formal way we are maintained we are balanced in an informal situation so say for instance you go to someone's funeral you are different when you go to a shadi party you are different so it's a dynamic process because it changes with the change of situation and participants and then you find that listening requires ears whereas uh, listening requires ear and mind whereas hearing requires only ears i'll say that uh, listening is like deep breathing and hearing is breathing why i say like this because uh, say for instance baba ramdev uh, said during the corona times that uh, deep breathing is good to build your immunity we all started deep breathing so when we want something we want we have a desire the desire to be fulfilled we be keen listeners otherwise we keep on hearing and that is why we say that we turn a deaf ear to what was being said further let me let me tell you about the body language of a good listener by well, well in a face to face situation we find that as a teacher you must have observed when an attentive face of your student is there a close mind mouth smile is there you are motivated and you'll find that the the eyes of the of a, of a good listener it makes 110 different movements there's a shine in the eyes a sweet smile on the face a comfortable sitting position is there no distracting body gestures like are uh, drumming the table uh, toying with the pen or tapping the feet nothing is being done and then a class hand right this is and this position is considered to be the best position like ha uh, uh, thumb under your chin and fingers on your cheek so fingers placed under the chin and across the cheek and occasional head nods the most positive body gesture of a listener is head nods and ultimately if you if you think my presentation is good what are you going to do what are you going to do what are you going to do you are good listener uh, mind it will will nod our heads ma'am you will nod our heads and ultimately at the end of the session what are you going to do applaud yes very good so this this makes this makes the speaker feel like speaking so remember remember 
listening is considered to be the paramount element of communication because we spend 63% of our time. A uh, uh, survey was conducted in an American company and surprising results came out. It was found that the, the employees there, they spent 63% of their time listening. 4% of their time was given to reading, which is a sorry thing. 11% in writing and 22% in speaking. So which is the most important? Listening is the most important because it is a receptive skill. You gain whatever you have gained is you have gained through listening, right? Now comes whistles. Let us blow the whistles with speaking because we say that good listeners surely make good speakers, undoubtedly make good speakers. And what are the qualities of a good speaker? They are self-confident. They enjoy what they are speaking. They are humorous. They have a sense of humor. They are lively, energetic, like uh, Salman Khan after eating Revital, right? They are knowledgeable. They don't make a parade of their knowledge, but they are knowledgeable. It, the way they speak, the way they, they connect themselves with the audiences, show that, yes, they are knowledgeable. They have done a good homework for the session. They have stage presence, empathetic, some anubhuti. They feel, they feel the pulse of the audiences. They speak without stumblings. You know? They have positive frame of mind. They do not burst at the audiences. Uh, they don't, do not burst as a teacher. You do not burst at the students. If student puts a question and you do not know, they are inspiring, inspiring and uplifting. They, they go on inspiring, motivating their uh, listeners to listen to what they are saying, to understand what they are saying. They are balanced and organized. They bring a, they build a friendly, rapid a relationship with the audience. So these are the qualities of a good speaker. Then uh, for the students I have, teachers must very well be knowing he, there are different types of speeches that are there, like informative speeches, wherein you impart knowledge. Say, for example, a teacher explaining a, about a topic in the class, informative speech, persuasive speeches, especially a speech given by uh, a political leader, a religious leader is a persuasive speech, wherein you try to mold the outlook of the audience, right? And then special occasion uh, speeches. Say, for example, uh, the introductory speech was given by Archana Ma'am, followed by the MOC, Masters of Ceremony. So these are special occasion speeches, retirement speeches, anniversary speeches, birthday speeches, these come under special occasion speeches and students must have come across these situations for sure in their school uh, in their school life and now also in their college life extempore elocution debate presentations role plays situational dialogues jam groups discussions mock interviews can can you hear, uh, tell me the what is the difference between role plays and situational dialogues my dear learned members what is the difference between role plays and situational dialogues uh, Ma'am, situational dialogues, I think uh, students are given a particular uh, situation in which uh, like, they have to interact with uh, one another and uh, a particular situation in which they have to uh, express their ideas or uh, the role which they are given. Though role plays are different. different. Yes, uh, so I think some similarities, yeah. Huh. Yeah. What happens, ma'am, when you give roles to the students in the class, say you be the reporter, you be the chief minister, that is called role play. Situational dialogues, you are at the hotel, you are at the doctor, you are yeah, at the yeah, green grocery yes. place. These are hmm. situational dialogues. Yes. Followed by jam. Jam, we have uh, seen these shows in television. Just a minute. In one minute, Just how many minute. balls you're going to put in the basket? That is a, a, a game. Jam is also a speaking activity wherein you are going to speak for a minute just a minute just a minute is the full form of jam without deviation without hesitation and without repetition group discussions and mock interviews so these are different speaking situations a student has to go through in school or college life furthermore importance of communication for teachers yeah a, a, a question comes to my mind can a teacher be a good public speaker also Yes. Can a teacher be yes. a good public speaker? Yes, yes, ma'am, I think. So. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Anyone else? Anyone else? Can I think, a teacher? I think, I think every teacher is a public speaker because he or she has to speak in a uh, in a class. So I think so. On the stage, I'm talking. 
on the stage i'm talking for some function not all i think yes not all are there you find that that hesitation that fear teaching yes. to the students is entirely different from speaking on a stage during the annual function or for the assembly so you find the teachers also need to be good communicators because they are role models for the students because monica shivastav has very well said good communication is considered a strong tool to be a good teacher for effectiveness in teaching process teaching learning process if a teacher is not a good uh, communicator knowledge transmission fails because teaching is generally considered as 50% knowledge and 50% interpersonal skills or communication skills what what has happened today students do have hard skills hard skills are those skills which we acquire through trainings all our mark sheets are the result of our hard skills what we are lacking today is soft skills and communication is one of the aspects interpersonal skills is one of the aspects of soft skill hard skills can be measured to marks but you cannot measure the soft skills of a student either it will be good or bad or mediocre but you cannot uh, uh, give marks for that as you can as a student writes an essay you give marks you give marks for that but soft skills cannot be measured they can be acquired because those are innate qualities which you need to polish time to time right so six points which we the teachers have to note that is we need to create interest in the subject and enthusiasm amongst the students we need to uh, make the students shun away their fear and inhibitions that comes that the positive motivation a teacher needs to have effective body language while communicating gesture should be should be good right body movements with verbal skills never sit and teach right keep on moving sense of humor it should not be cheap a good sense of humor which connect you with the students do not confuse dirty jokes with humor understand the students preferred dialogue over monologue like say for instance throughout the session if i go on speaking will it uh, will you like it no no mm. student is no student likes monologue we need to have communication we need to have interaction that is a dialogue to make to make the class interesting furthermore theme formation we need to understand if you want to understand the other person you might be a good solo player but if you want to be a team player you have to you have to empathize with the students so that students are connected with you it helps you in mutual understanding aapse samajh develop karna is very very necessary for the teachers as well as for the students and above all the pandemic has taught us we need to hone our technical skills we have to move with the times we, we can't be outmoded we cannot use obsolete things we have to use those techniques uh, we have to be techno friendly and techno savvy so that we can match with the zen z students generate generation z students so these are the six skills which a teacher requires to be a good communicator now have you uh, have you ever given a thought why a student doesn't want to come to the stage why a student doesn't want to come to the stage in some of the students assemblies are being conducted by the students and each student is given a chance to come up on the stage and speak why why don't why don't all the students are interested in that why is it so that all the participants who are who are added here are giving an answer yes yes my dear my dear learned members why all this are participants added here for this session are giving an answer are not giving an answer maybe they are lazy what to say maybe they are not interested in the talk maybe they are bored by the talk a kind of monotony has come right another reason why do students don't speak on the stage because they suffer from glossophobia what is glossophobia glossophobia is a speech anxiety a kind of fear of public speaking or speaking in general the reason being the reason being they have not been trained in that the reason being they do not have ideas they lack ideas content is lacking in today's students in in, in today's uh, uh, like speakers because we do not read we, we are not good listeners that is the reason most of the students suffer from glossophobia so fear has two meanings either either 
someone forgot to mute mute okay so sorry uh fear has two meanings forget everything and run or face everything and rise this this thing this thing we have to instill in our students so that they can express and impress themselves make them read a lot make them speak a lot make them good listeners for sure they will rise academically so towards the end i would like to say good speakers are made they are not born and how do they make their speech effective by by choice of words what kind of words positive words even maybe perhaps these are negative words these words are not supposed to be used good choice of words the sentence the syntax of the sentence is correct then use simple and short sentences like uh, we think that if we if we fill our speech speech with uh, bombastic words or what you call it a uh, uh, figurative language our speech will be considered the best no we have to be simple we have to match the wavelength of the audiences avoid jargons that that's what i said technical words correct pronunciation only then you'll be understood by the uh, audiences by the listeners speed of delivery the matter is going to decide how at what pace you have to speak then pitch pitch of your voice right whether i have to speak in a high pitch or in a low uh, low pitch you find that narendra modi ji when giving the speech he has uh, uh, 30 to 40 microphones are there even then when he speaks in the public he speaks at a high pitch because the audiences are large then tone uh, uh, can, can, uh, can i get an answer for this question what decides your tone what decides your tone what decides your tone yes i think mood mood and way of speaking very, very good sir thank you thank you so much sir say for example say for instance uh, a teacher first lecture of the day the teacher comes to the class she is uh, she had a five minutes of meeting with her husband and as soon as the students wish good morning ma'am good morning sit down take out your books because the teacher is not in a good mood so the the tone is unpleasant whereas when you are in a good mood you speak in a you speak in a pleasant uh, tone you know the pitch is also right intonation and stress the rise and fall of sound while speaking voice modulation this matters a lot because the students understand this your voice articulation how clearly you articulate the words correct pauses and timing of delivery these are these are the ingredients if you are going to garnish your speeches with it is going you will become a you will be considered a good speaker so it's your turn to speak now any questions from your end most welcome yes any queries any questions because this will be my test of knowledge whether i know or i don't know otherwise i've spoken what was there on the screen I welcome your questions please Gitanjali is there any uh, are there any questions in the chat box No ma'am That means I'm a good communicator am I right Everyone has understood everything Ma'am we were so engrossed in your uh, uh this uh, lecture in your presentation that we <laughs> couldn't think of anything else it was so, so engaging it was so engaging mesmerizing you, in fact yeah so now the last bit of wisdom i'll talk this i've taken from somewhere no matter what job you have whether you are a teacher whether you are a parent whether you are a student your success will be determined by 5% of your academic credentials your mark sheets and 15% by your professional expertise what trainings you had c++ java what not and 80% by your communication skills because communication skills work miracles how i'm connected with uh, uh, i haven't seen a uh, 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 madam kor i haven't seen madam kor but the way we talk to each other over phone it's so very so very cementing we are connected with each other the magic is the map one my band is communication skill so whether you are a student or a teacher or for that matter a parent 
you need to develop your communication skills because communication skills amount to 80% of your life furthermore let us keep communicating through i spell because good communication skills are the key to success so with this all the best to all of you may god bless you all thank you so much thank you thank you ma'am may i request all of you to please unmute yourself and give a give big round of applause to our madam thank you thank you all yeah, yeah, i would like to say one should always clap for one's own self because that is the best motivation <laughs> thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you so much ma'am it was such an informative session and all of your all of your requested to mute yourself vandana um, ma'am or something and uh, please be content ma'am please one may i proceed sir please please continue ma'am now to uh, so there is no question so i now to further elaborate the discussed topic uh, i would like to welcome and introduce our today's chairperson dr cyril daniel sir dr cyril daniel sir is currently assistant professor department of english at government arts and commerce girls college devendranagar raipur sir obtained his phd in english in the year 2011 Sir has teaching experience of 25 years to undergraduate students and has a specialization in Indian literature for post graduate students. Sir is also working as Rusa faculty HECG online classes. He is also working with Vyapam as a subject expert. Sir is also having membership with Altai and sir has also participated as coordinator in national seminar 2020. Good evening, sir. Now it's over to you, sir. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much for inviting me. I am uh, really grateful uh, that I am a part, and I am very fortunate that I am a part. Uh, I still is doing some uh, remarkable work in the field of uh, language and literature, especially in Chhattisgarh. Uh, and, uh, I. for dr dilip sham sir who is uh, founder and chief secretary of icel and uh, secretary tiwari ma'am patron icel forum dr nandita kanta president of icel forum dr archana singh uh, and especially of uh, 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 i would like to give thanks to coordinator dr kalochan for support and uh, moderator uh, ms kitanjali neta uh if sir is here i would like to uh, uh just i want to mention two words for uh, sancham sir his initial are g a for me g stands for gain full so sir i would like to tell you that you have gained a lot of affection love and respect from uh, all the scholars uh, who are in chatisgarh not only not only chatisgarh but from all over india you have gained much affection love and respect and uh, a i will uh, i will quote for sir he is a amazing person his personality is amazing so ganjab sir i am really thankful for you for uh, you know, such a great then sima uh, ma'am uh, there is no words uh, you were asking uh, you were uh, you were uh, inviting us for asking but uh, i would like to tell you there are no questions it was so clear we all the spell was talk with the presentation and uh, it was really a excellent presentation whatever uh, 
uh, aspects you have dealt with, whatever points you have kept uh, in front of us today. Uh, I'm really thankful for the time and effort you took to share a thought and experience with this forum. Uh, it was an absolute bliss to listen to you. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I would like to start with the topic. Uh, really, it was a very interesting topic for me. Uh, bells and whistles uh, of communication. And uh, you, uh, uh, you have uh, explained that you have taken the bells for listening and bells stand for listening and whistle, it stands for speaking. Uh, you have uh, very uh, um, impressively, ma'am, you have uh, uh, shared your thoughts uh, and you have told us about the importance of communication for teachers. You have uh, shared the importance of communication for students. You started with the art of communication, ma'am, uh, that uh, we have forgotten to communicate with the human beings. And nowadays, most of the people, majority of the uh, young generation, especially, they are spending their time with uh, communicating with the uh, electronic gadget. And one more thing I would like to uh, add, and what I've seen, this is my experience that what uh, people uh, likes to communicate with is with their pets, with the animals, whether they are having uh, a dog in their house or uh, a cat or parrot, but they have forgotten to communicate with the human being. Rightly said, Madam, uh, I really appreciate your uh, observation there. Then uh, you have uh, uh, dealt with the existence of uh, biological existence and social existence. Uh, it is a universal truth, ma'am, ki ma'am, uh, man is a social animal. Uh, it is a it is it is uh, from the school days we have been uh, learning that man is a social animal and uh, we need society and uh, we need to communicate with with each other uh, you have nicely uh, dealt with the subject of this existence fam then further you uh, uh, you uh, said ma'am uh, communication should be interactive yes ma'am uh, we do agree uh, it should be interactive it should not be one sided uh, mostly we have seen in the class uh, that uh, it is one sided uh, normally we put some questions in front of the student uh, but 10% uh, uh, times we get the response from the students it should be interactive then you uh, you said about lsrw listening speaking reading and writing i remember uh, about francis bacon uh, he said uh, about the reading if if you read little you should be cunning if you read little you should be cunning and uh, about writing francis bacon again he quotes writing makes a perfect man and uh, ma'am it is it is uh, so nice that you have kept all this thing in a very systematic and chronological order ma'am it was so nice to listen to you uh, because i am uh, i am uh, familiar with you i am acquainted with you for uh, many uh, past many years so always i have seen you as a very uh, excellent teacher very expressive very uh, innovative and, and and i can say proudly that uh, today your talk was very innovative it was very uh, uh, presentable, ma'am. Anna, it is very difficult. You you took a uh, uh, lot of hard uh, work is seen in your presentation, in your PPT, in your presentation, in uh, uh, all the aspect of uh, communication uh, you have uh, uh, touched. And uh, I just uh, want to thank you, ma'am, for uh, the pain you have taken. I don't have time. I think already uh, we are late. But uh, just I want to thank you, ma'am. Uh, really, ma'am, it was a useful and uh, thought-provoking lecture. I found it extremely enjoyable. I repeat, I found it extremely enjoyable and beneficial, especially for the students of this forum. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. And for presenting the certificate of application, I invite Dr. General Secretary of ICE and the Forum, Dr. 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 D
There is some technical glitch on somebody's uh, device, I think. Uh, ah, yes, now it's okay. Yes, Kitanjali? Yes, ma'am. To present the certificate of appreciation, I invite. Yes, yeah. Gansham sir is there. Ma'am, I think sir is not there. No, I um, don't think he's here, but. Uh, uh, um, okay. you, you can you may invite Kirti ma'am. Yeah. Haan, Gitanjali, you may call in Kirti ma'am. I request Dr. Kirti Tiwari ma'am. Dr. Kirti Tiwari ma'am. Please come and honor our guest of today's ceremony. Yes, I am very ma much pleased. Uh, Where are the certificates? Certificate is not visible actually. Uh, please share it again. Indrani, could you please... Uh, Display the certificates, Indrani, ma'am. I would like to say that I really enjoyed the presentation of Seema Arora. Uh, I remember her name uh, appeared long ago in my research center when she had applied but for various reasons, she couldn't join our research center. Uh, and uh, today I saw her uh, delivering a very engaging uh, speech and her presentation. And by every measure, she has proved that she herself is a very good speaker, uh, communicator so and educator. Uh, so uh, she has given us a wonderful, memorable uh, evening. The way she presented uh, her ideas in a beautiful, clear and crisp way, that has impressed one and all. I am so happy and uh, you have made a memorable evening for all of us and it was a very interactive and a different sort of uh, presentation because uh, nowadays generally uh, many uh, keynote speakers come with PowerPoint presentation but yours uh, was a, quite a different one and a very interactive and uh, everyone uh, uh, has must have enjoyed and I'm sure the knowledge they have gained, they will, uh, it will help them to develop their communication skills, students and teachers uh, equally and uh, nowadays uh, communication skills are also soft skills and employability skills. Uh, uh, so that way I am very much uh, grateful uh, as patron of iSpell that you have spared time and uh, I hope uh, you will uh, uh, visit us more often uh, yes, and join sir, iSpell and, yeah, join I I and uh, remain an active member of it. For sure, for sure. These are your blessings, madam, your guidance. I'm right. not, I owe all this to you all. Oh, thank thank you, you so much, ma'am. I think the uh, certificate yes, is visible now, ma'am. Uh, certificate is visible now, I think. Uh, ma'am, the certificate see it. is on the screen. I ma can't see on the screen. Okay, okay. okay. Nurul, Nurul is presenting the certificates, ma'am. Uh, it's right, on the screen. Right. Yes, yes, yes. So here, uh, this uh, uh, certificate goes to uh, Dr. Seema Arora. Uh, for her wonderful presentation on uh, communication skill. Uh, uh, apart from uh, giving a captive presentation, her uh, title is also eye-catching, The Bells and Whistles of Communication, and she has rung uh, 
bells and uh, we all you know, are now alert. Uh, thank, thank you, you so uh, Seema. Thank you so much. Thank you so yes. much, ma'am. I am equally happy to see Cyril Daniel as chairperson of the event. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, we are thankful on behalf of ISPEL, although he is also a member, uh, for sharing his expertise and views on the topic and on the presentation. Uh, his views are also fascinating. And um, you know, uh, he has also enlightened the students. Uh, so this certificate goes to Dr. Cyril Daniel for uh, his uh, concluding remarks on it. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, Miss Gitanli Netam, again a very young uh, person. You know, I'm always happy when you see such youngsters coming up forward. Uh, you feel that everything would be right with the English word, word, you know. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, she has uh, wonderfully conducted this program as Master of Ceremonies. And she has started, uh, anchored and concluded. And uh, by doing so, she has set the intellectual and emotional tone that was required for the event. Uh, her services are commendable. Uh, so this certificate goes to Geetanjali. Please accept this. Thank you so much, ma'am, for providing this opportunity to host the program. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Tarlochan Kaur Sandhu. Uh, <laughs> my, <laughs> my favorite uh, uh, colleague, friend, and uh, uh, what to say, you know, I really love to see her. Uh, Although it is virtually, uh, this certificate of um, appreciation of being the event coordinator of the uh, month uh, goes to her. Uh, I As a patron of ISPEL, I want to thank you on behalf of the whole organization for investing so much energy and time to make this month a perfect one. I'm thank sure you, that uh, thank you, you so much. I am of a confirmed opinion that you will keep helping uh, ISPEL like this only in future as well. Uh, but <laughs> thank you so much, sure, I man. wish to, oh. I wish to uh, see you soon in person also. Uh, would love oh, to sure do that. Yes, thank you so much. All, Please all accept your this. Blessings. Thank you. Thank and you so much. special gratitude. She, she is with us in spite of her ill health, ma'am. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. That. She was suffering from uh, uh, viral fever. And in spite that is of that, yeah. Yeah. that is the uh, you know, proof of her sincerity and dedication to the cause. To the cause. And I'm equally thankful to uh, uh, you know, Dr. Harpreet Garcha and Dr. Archana Singh. Uh, who keep on thinking about uh, uh, you know, organizing uh, uh, new events every month and they are uh, again uh, they are planning for the next month and we are sure that we will be uh, getting uh, new brochures for the next month uh, and i wish i spell all the success thank you so much for giving me this opportunity of presenting the certificates to all Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Seema, ma'am, again. Uh, in spite of your ill health, uh, you have uh, given us such a good uh, presented such a good lecture. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Now it's time to give a vote of thanks. So on behalf of all the team of ISPEL, I extend a, a hearty vote of thanks to our chief speaker, Dr. Seema Rora Ma'am, and chairperson, Dr. Cyril Daniel Sir, who spared their precious time to grace the occasion. We had a wonderful opportunity to hear your thoughts, which will surely be going to helpful in our future events. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful opportunity. Now
now i extend my thanks to the entire team of icepel cg forum for giving me this opportunity to conduct and host today's ceremony as a moderator thanking you so much team icepel especially dr j ghansham sir founder and general secretary of icepel cg forum dr kirti tiwari ma'am patron of icepel dr archana singh ma'am convener of icepel dr harpreet garsha ma'am president of icepel and i also thanks the technical team of icepel without whom the whole session would not be possible so thank you so much everyone presented here in today's session and at thank last uh, i would like to thank my dearest teacher mentor and guide dr talochan kaur ma'am who always guided and supported us and who introduced and provide this wonderful platform to us and thank you so much ma'am for all your love and support thank you gitanjali i think now uh, i just would like to sum up uh, just sparing few minutes uh, first and foremost i think uh, today's present if i uh, everybody has said about today's presentation and uh, uh, i personally felt that as though i was a student once again sitting in a class and uh, i was so engaged and uh, found it so interactive uh, though i was not able to answer so many questions which madam had put so i just i can realize that how the we feel when we are in the class and the students are not able to answer how the speaker feels so anyway i <laughs> i tried my best ma'am so and uh, your style was so lucid so fluid and so enlightening and uh, i am that sure that you have left an indelible uh, impression upon everybody's mind because right. all the participants yes uh, they were so engaged and i think uh, that uh, we um, have our own take away today and definitely we will be using it utilizing it when we teach in our in the classes and uh, because you have dealt with all the nuances of uh, communication and uh, given us enough ingredients to um, i think improve our uh, communicating skills and uh, thank you so much thank you i spell ghansham uh, sir for uh, providing this uh, opportunity and uh, harpreet ma'am for keeping faith in me kirti ma'am for giving providing me this opportunity to coordinate this event and uh, nurul sir and uh, indrani and dear all the dear participants because i think there were some technical glitches today because of the devices or i think something happened but otherwise it was uh, done skillfully and very diligently handled i also extend my uh, gratitude to archana singh ma'am and uh, to all the participants who listened very patiently today's uh, presentation and uh, i hope uh, it was uh, the credit also goes to our master of ceremonies gitanjali who moderated so wonderfully and uh, smoothly that everything go went so well uh, i thank you all the participants also Uh, because yeah. without you it would not have been successful i wish you all a very happy teej and a ganesh chaturthi and at the same time i uh, thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart for sparing your precious time to be with us today thank, thank you, you all hoping to meet again yes yes sure ma'am sure